Good, <laughs> good evening, everyone. This is Maria. Th no, this is Maria. I obviously not. <laughs> we haven't changed the name of the show to Maria. Well, not yet, anyway. Maybe. I don't know. Maria, tell the ladies and gentlemen where you're from. I'm from Panama. Panama! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Maria, wh which language do you speak in Panama? Spanish, mainly. Right, that's what I was going to say. Now, I knew that. And that's a coincidence because my New Year's resolution this year is to learn to speak Spanish. <laughs> Will you help me, Maria? Sure, I'll help you. <laughs> Let's start then. Okay. You yeah. go first. What do you want me to say? Say, this is the crappiest show I have ever seen. <laughs> It just sounds so much more poetic, doesn't it? Now, <laughs> I love, I love when you do the cutaway of the audience and you can see how many people are actually here. It's like, wait, what? There's there twelve people in that audience? About that. Anyway, that's my New Year's resolution. I've decided I'm going to learn to speak Spanish because I live in LA and there's a lot of people who speak Spanish here. So I'm going to start by saying, good evening, everyone, in Spanish. <laughs> Not tonight, obviously. I'm, I, you, you, you don't want to dive in there right away. Baby steps, baby steps. So tomorrow night uh, on the show, I'll probably speak uh, 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 buenas noches. I, I couldn't remember it, you see, so I was, I was yeah, buenas, buenas noches, mes amigos. Mes amigos? <laughs> Me, is it mes amigos? What the hell do you know? You're from Scotland. Shut up. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Scottish person in that thinks I'm their friend because they're from Scotland. I'm like, I, I'm like, I emigrated for a reason, girl. <laughs> Are you from Scotland or just you? No, I'm not from Scotland. Oh, just you? Yeah, that's strange. In a strange quirk of fate, that's the one I emigrated to get away from. <laughs> um, I'd like to apologize. We're going to be a bit late starting tonight. Um, Rebecca, who was sitting in the front row, had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> If you don't believe me, look, there's our empty chairs right there. Look, that's it. Um, so uh, I thought, well, I don't want to embarrass the girl. So when she comes back, don't say anything. If she comes back uh, during this bit, because, you know, um, I can't hang on. There's commercials to be shown, you know, and stuff to do. Or we've got to get on with this showbiz extravaganza we have tonight. Because I tell you, it's going to be awesome tonight. There's things going on here that nobody knows about because we haven't thought of them yet. For example, me talking to you now. That being said, um, I think what we've all learned is that at the end of the day and in the fullness of time, it's a game of two halves. <laughs> <laughs> it's TV talk for I've got nothing to say, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> TV talk is like when they, on the sports when they say, well, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I think we all learned that, you know, you play until you, the game's over. <laughs> Oh, really? I thought we would just play until about half-time and then just stop. <laughs> oh, is that, is that Rebecca back? All right, you back, Rebecca? Oh. Come on, then, come on, sit down. <laughs> All, right. All right, come sit down. We'll get, uh... We'll get started, then. All right. <laughs> Anyone else have to go before... Uh... Anyone at home? <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's get started. Oh, ho, cheeky monkeys. Guess what? Robot skeleton army things. <sighs> oh, I know. 
<laughs> Do you think I embarrassed Rebecca? <laughs> I didn't mean to embarrass her. I mean, everyone goes to the bathroom. Yes, everyone goes to the bathroom, sir. <laughs> the dude over there went, uh. <laughs> like, yes, even attractive young ladies. I know, I find it hard to believe as well, but it's true, they do. No, the only person that doesn't go to the bathroom is the Queen of England. <laughs> I don't know quite what she does. I think she has servants go for her. Oh dear, I have to go to the bathroom. I mean, you have to go to the bathroom. Right away, Your Majesty. Um, what would you like, number ones or number twos? Um, I don't know. That's not right. Don't applaud that. That's not right. Um, so, what are you saying? You're telling me to shut up to get the commercials going? Yeah, that would be good. I've got an idea. When the commercials are on, turn them up loud so you can still hear them and buy the products advertised, but go and go to the bathroom then. Oh, Rebecca, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? What if somebody actually thought, I've gone to the top bathroom during the commercial break? We'll be right back. Um, look. Uh, I wanted to apologize. Um, at the start of the show, I, I kind of drew attention to the fact that one of our audience members had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I think that was kind of, you know, I kind of embarrassed her. So if you missed it, here she is. This is Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca, everybody. And, uh, You're right. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Buenas <laughs> noches. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. Not yet. I'm not sleeping with her. I'm not sleeping with her. Even although I think the very expensive CBS wig is very attractive. <laughs> They've let you down, darling. They've let you down. <laughs> Will you stop? Stop waving. I'll tell you when. I am the temporary robot skeleton sidekick. <laughs> who's not really a robot. But we're working on it. Right then. Well, I think the show went pretty well tonight. What do you think? Good. Uh, <laughs> all right, now. Now. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. <laughs> all right, now, if you missed the show on Friday, first of all, congratulations. But if you, if you didn't know this, what happened is that Cody and Rebecca, two of our great young people that hang around here, <sighs> <laughs> They got married on the show. Not really, but in a kind of pretend way that makes me laugh. <laughs> and now they're going to go on honeymoon. Come on out, Cody and Rebecca. Look, they're going to come out. Come on out. <laughs> hey, oh. um. <laughs> well, you kids, I, I want to tell you, we've sorted out a <laughs> we've sorted out a honeymoon for you. You're off to see. The shipyards of Northern Europe. <laughs> uh, but we're talking Gdansk, Glasgow, Liverpool, all the hot spots. <laughs> the show and we thought we'd like to say goodnight with our own special song. Take it, Eddie. Singing the stuff about the end of the show. The end, end of the show. End of the show. The show. There's no end more show. show. Attractive people. Attractive people. There's no more show. It's all done. 
but we're leaving you no with attractive people in your mind. No more show. In your mind. There's no more show. In your mind. No more show. thinking, Greg, why was Sarah, was she about to host the show at the beginning? No. <laughs> Although I saw her getting ready to go, that sounds like, hey, get back there right away. <laughs> but Sarah's wearing a t-shirt which says Robot Skeleton Army on it because the people that follow me on Twitter, oh yeah, mm -hmm, the people that follow me on Twitter call themselves the Robot Skeleton Army. Well, they, they, I call them that too because we're all part of a Robot Skeleton Army and we live in a hollowed out volcano, not really, but it's part of what we do. <laughs> Da 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 They drove from Minnesota to be at the show and they stopped at the Albuquerque Rattlesnake Museum they bought rattlesnake cups to beat the show and I thought, well, the least I can do is put them on it and then when they go home, they'll have something to remember us by. <laughs> but I thought it's, I think it's lovely. You know, I have to say, if you're out there and you're thinking about driving across country to come and be on the show, don't. <laughs> All right. I follow directions well. That's all right. Okay. Now, are you in any way related to anyone here at the studio, young lady? Mm -mm, no. <laughs> no one. You wouldn't, in fact, be Michael's mom, would you? <laughs> Do I have to take ownership to that? No, no, no? you're all okay. right. You're all right. All right. Michael's mom, <laughs> Mrs. Nadis. Yes. Oh. Hey, hey, What's hey, up? random dude. What's up? What's up? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's your name again? Jeff. Craig. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey. What's up? Hey. What's up? What's up? Hey, uh, Jeff, I always wanted to ask you this. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, have you ever been to any restaurants in New York that you like? Yes, I have. I've been to Momofuku. <laughs> yes, but have you ever been to any restaurants that you like? I have been no, to... Mo oh, mo oh, mo uh, no, 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 yes. no. Dave, Dave just mentioned on his show Momofuku. Yes, sir. Because yes, he sir. said, back off, Momofuku. <laughs> you don't know me like that. But Momofuku's the name of a restaurant, yes, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. What, do they, what do they serve? He's got an amazing um, tuna with, um, with tea on it. <laughs> Dry tea leaves. The bomb. Pork belly. The bomb. Pork buns. The bomb. Is there anything that isn't the bomb because I'm not that hungry? I would have to say the... Um, no. No, 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 everything's the bomb. Hey, you, do you live in New York? No, sir. Have you been there? Yes, sir. You've been to this restaurant, but where do you live? L.A. Why are you here then? <gasps> Is that gang sign? No, no, L.A. Oh.
Why, if you live in LA, presumably you have something to do. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? I was walking by and I. Ah, you know, yeah. yeah. You saw the, the, the idea that I. Because, you know, when I promise people that free chicken for being in the audience? I thought it was free food in the back. No, no, there's not. It's, it's a lie. Oh! You lied to me? I'm in show business, it's what we do! Lord have mercy. All right, all right, okay, okay. Whoop your ass. All right. Jeff, all right. There you go, come back. That way. Go that way. I think he's probably going to get his own late night talk show. <laughs> oh, oh, Jeff! What's up? Hey! How you Jeff? Doing? Hey, Jeff was on the show last <laughs> Tuesday. Hey. What's that? Hey! Oh boy, Mike. Hey, Mike! Hi! Hi! Nice to meet you, Hey! No, hey, no, no. no. Your, your, your mom doesn't watch this. Does she? Does your mother watch this show? Mm, sure she does. <laughs> so what have you guys been up to? Have you been ha hanging out? Yeah, I'm in the cooking, making some Chinese food, making some are you, soul are you, food. Are you a couple? No, no, no. <laughs> we used to date some time ago, yeah, but yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Broke my heart. Ones are like that. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. But I was married now. Mm -hmm. you, you, no, you guys can't do that in California legally. Right now. You better tell him. No. Uh, anyway, listen. Yes, sir. Uh, when we met on the show last week, you were uh, in the food business. Yes, sir. Are you still in the food business? Yes, sir. And Mike, are you in the food business? I work for Nielsen. He's the guy that calls you up in the middle of the night. The ratings people? Yes, sir. You look fabulous. <laughs> See you, Jeff. Hi, Mike. <laughs> have, you, have you done Nielsen research? Do finger pistols make people enjoy late night television more? Mm, they do, in fact. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's more like this. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Shaka bra. Oh! It's a Hawaiian thing. Are you Hawaiian? Uh, no, but I've been mistaken for Samoan before. <laughs> I'm afraid for reasons that will become clear, I can't participate in any of this type of discussion. Do you uh, it's holding up? Uh, yeah, I know. Today. Well, who's to know if it's raining on Thursday? Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so Mike. Um, We're, uh, I'm going to try that from now. I'm going to point at girls from now on and go. We were warned against that. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all we've got time for, even although this is the beginning of the show. So, thanks, Mike. We'll see you later. I was trying to do, I was going to, look, the sweater guys are back, everybody. Uh, look, they're, they're, hi, these are the sweater guys. They turn up, they wear matching sweaters, because they're crazy. <laughs> sweater guys, and they're, they're, they got, look, 1081. That's a really awesome piece of work you've done. <laughs> look at that, that's like, take that, Martha Stewart, you prison bitch. Look at that. Uh, say hi to Jeff Pearson on the way by. Is it? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sweater guys are, uh, you know, they turn up at the show from time to time and they wear the same sweaters so that'll put them on TV. I have no idea why they would want to be on this show, but, uh, <laughs> but they do. And I had to, you know, put them on tonight, which is a bit of a problem for me because tonight, Sonia, the sexy photographer, is here. <laughs> I talk like this because she won't hear me if I do this with my hand. <laughs> hey, Sonia. <laughs> Why, you can't take a camera angle like that. She looks enormous. <laughs> but, Sonia, the 450 foot tall, sexy photographer is here. Sonia, can you come out a second, please? Uh, do you mind? Just, I just want to, uh, could you take a photograph of uh, Michael over there? There you are. There you go. Would you mind? Thanks. No. Just so that people... There you go. That's fine. Thanks. Thanks, Sonia. Isn't she attractive? Wait, no, don't... Don't applaud! You don't, don't applaud, just kind of go like that. If you applaud, it's like a strip club. Whoa, you're attractive. Thank you. Apparently, I've never been to a strip club. I have not. I have. The sweater guys made me go. Be funny, stay out of prison. Try not to be creepy. Oh, hi, everybody. Uh, these young ladies uh, came to the show and they made their own t-shirts to be here, just like uh, if they weren't crazy. And... <laughs> but lovely t-shirts, look, there's a picture of me on the front there. Notice how I'm not in any... And look, on the back it says, Craig Ferguson is sexy, Craig Ferguson. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> whoa, 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 back off there! You see him in there with the close-ups? Back off there! <laughs> Oh, girls, when I give you the secret sign, go back to your chairs, all right? Okay. All right, the secret sign is... What? Well, what are you doing? <laughs> all right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks very much. Off you go. Back to your chairs. <laughs> now, look. No, no, wait there. Oh, yeah, you better give me back. I was carrying the, I was carrying the flashlight. And in case any of the girls got too fresh, then I was... <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the warning for you. Now, the, it's very nice that people do that, uh, of course, and put uh, me on T-shirts. And I appreciate it. I really do. It's lovely. You're adorable. You're also 19 years old. <laughs> And which, I know what you're thinking, Craig, you're being creepy. I'm not being creepy. I was in no way inappropriate there. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> My name is TV's Craig Ferguson. <laughs> this is the lovely Alana. Say good evening, Alana. Good evening. She's, she's from Camarillo. Correct? Correct. Here's what happened. We, uh, I was in the, uh, I, was, I wasn't in the audience. I, was, I came out to start the show and I noticed that uh, Alana was wearing a very interesting pair of shoes. I wonder if we could see them. Do you see them? And I said, uh, well, they're interesting. Uh, are they Indian? Uh, well, first of all, I said, are you Indian, Alana? And she said, no. <laughs> and we laughed. And then, and I said, but your shoes are Indian. And, and then she said... I guess. <laughs> and we laughed. And then I, I like them. Do you do yoga? No. My mom did. <laughs> when did she do it? When I was younger. Right. Did she wear those shoes? No. Stylish. They are. I like them. Thank you. Is your uh, is your mom Indian? No. So you don't know any Indian people. Nothing to do with India at all. No. So you're a fraud. <laughs> Let me 
me put it to you, Alana. <laughs> that you are in no way Indian, or even of Indian descent. <laughs> Yet you willfully wear their footwear as if you were. That's all right, it's not a crime. <laughs> Lovely shoes, actually. Thank you. You ever, uh, ever think of going to India? Not right now. <laughs> Well, uh, what, what do you do? I go to school. What do you study? Psychology. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> and let that be a lesson to you, everyone else who's trying to avoid therapy. That was a relief. I mean, escape. Um, bullet dodged. Nice pair of shoes. All right. No, listen. Here's my quandary. So I'm I'm out here meeting the audience before the show. In no way pre-recording anything. And I shut the hell up. Anyway, I was out meeting the audience before, and there's a couple of guys sitting over in the corner there. Probably we could see. Uh, sure. Yeah, there's a couple of gentlemen there. And, there you go. Now, see, I happen to know because I have powers of perception that these guys are two rough and tumble New York City cops. But I thought they were a gay couple. <laughs> it's, it's LA! The, the, things look different here, that's all. And hey, they might, they, are you, are you not, um, uh, are you a gay couple? Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I think I can safely say this now that statute of limitations are up. I've been arrested in New York a couple of times. <laughs> Not by either one of you. I think you're probably too young to have arrested me. I was in my, uh, I was in my 20s. You probably are both in your 30s, right? And I'm going to be 48 next week. And so that means you were babies while I was being arrested by guys who were in no way as attractive as you two. I <laughs> Let me just say for the record that when, if I was arrested or not, and I'm not saying I was arrested for legal reasons ever at any time in New York City in the 1980s, 1984, to be precise. I'll tell you the story of what happened then, actually. This is what happened. So, at this time, I was in New York City and I was on a motorcycle and I was drunk, right? Now, I'm not advocating this, I'm not saying that this is a good idea to do, but that's what I did then. And I was on a motorcycle and I was drunk and I was in a crash. It wasn't a bad crash, I just fell over on my own in the middle of the street. And, the, and, uh, and this New York cop came over to me and he went, all right, uh, driver's license registration and all that stuff. And so I get out my wallet and all I've got is a British driver's license in 1984. And in that time, a British driver's license doesn't even have a photograph on it. It just has, it's, it folds out and it's got a picture of the queen and some, <laughs> some birds and stuff on it. And he folds it all out and he goes, what? Ooh la la. What is this? <laughs> And I said, this is a British driver's license. And he went, all right. And he folded it all up and he put it back in my wallet and he went, ay caramba. <laughs> and so I said, I said, I can go. And he said, I have no, he said, he said, in a kind of flowery way, he said that the amount of paperwork that would be involved for him to process me through that, he'd rather take my chances that I would kill myself somewhere else. <laughs> Commissioner of Police in New York by now. Thank you, gentlemen, for your work. <laughs> Welcome to Blind Date. <laughs>
This is uh, this is Brittany and Michelle, or uh, Brittany and Michelle. Brittany and Michelle. They're real names. We didn't make them up. How unusual. I know. But Brittany and Michelle turned up at the show, and they're wearing T-shirts that say, "We want to have Jeff Peterson's Robo Babies." <laughs> And I'd like to tell them right now in front of the camera that this is a protected image from CBS and they're going to be sued. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, we're, we're not going to sue you. <laughs> but they want to... Uh, why do you find... Je I would like to ask you a question, but I can't because you're not wearing microphones. Why do you find Jeff so attractive? He's very sexy. Uber sexy. <laughs> Jeff, do you have something you'd like to tell the ladies? <laughs> yes, you've, you've astounded them into something resembling a malfunction. <laughs> All right, well, ladies, uh, what, what you, what, uh, no? <laughs> right. Ladies, uh, if you could, I, could I have a quiet moment alone with Jeff? Please, uh, off you go back to your seats. So Brittany and Michelle, everybody. Brittany and Michelle. <laughs> they want to have Jeff's babies, but they can't. <laughs> we know why, don't we, Jeff? <laughs> I know, I know. Don't, I know you're trying to speak. Let me speak for you. Jeff, unfortunately, doesn't have a penis. <laughs> wait, wait. On him tonight. <laughs> don't, man, don't, don't, don't. So, guess what, everybody? This is my new best friend. <laughs> What's your name again? Kelly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, anyway, I find out that, you know, the warm-up comedian says to me, Kelly's always wanted to be in a cold open, and Kelly's like, no way, I don't, I don't want to be in a cold open. And then the makeup girls were fixing my hair, and he said, I'll be in it if the girls will fix my hair when they call them. <laughs> And they never did. No, and they never showed up. I don't know where they're at. It's the story of my yeah. life, Craig. To, to Yen and Lisa, yeah. yeah. They're there. Come on out, girls. Look at the state of this guy's hair. Oh. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. They smell nice, too. Oh, that. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Really nice yeah. Uh, okay. Thanks, uh, Lisa and to you and everybody. Uh, Lisa and to you. Thanks. thanks, ladies. Thank you. You begin to see how awesome my life really is, don't you? <laughs> Just beginning. Yeah, I know. But you know what? Yeah, Craig? They, don't, don't, don't use my name, man. Uh, <laughs> we're not there yet. We're just not there yet. Where are you from? Uh, Washington State. You have to think about that because you're hot. Because if you're from Washington State, you're probably, you enjoy the, yeah. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to you know it's National Donut Day then, today. <laughs> do you enjoy the donuts? Of course I do. You're just, you're just agreeing with me because we're on TV. Probably. Yeah, you were, <laughs> you were being a real son of a bitch before the camera turned on. Now you're all kind of sweet and lovely and pleased because the girls were futzing with your hair. Yeah, it's really messed with my head. You got really nice hair though, dude. Thanks, Craig. I call him Craig again. I noticed, but I'm okay with it now. Are you going to stay for the whole show? Oh. I wasn't really planning on it. Oh. Well, where should, should I just say it? Yeah, yeah. You, well, you, where the whole you? show. Well, <laughs> dude, where were you going to go? It's like 1.30 in the morning in your region. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the girls? I've got to get my fix. Yeah, no, no, you don't. No, we don't. CBS doesn't condone this kind of behavior. Right? <laughs> We're going to take a commercial break. That's the realities of my life.
It got weird. Yeah, it got a little awkward. It just got weird. <laughs> All right, man, we'll take a commercial break and uh, one of us will be here when we get back. Perfect. <laughs> Magician was pretty good, wasn't he? It's okay. No, I liked it. I, I... I wish they make the girl jump out of the bucket. That would have been awesome. Yeah. yeah. You don't have a duck on you anywhere, do you? Nope. All right. I got this awesome mug, though. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you could take that back, show it to your friends who've actually watched the show, buddy. They'll be... <laughs> Say good night. Good night. Good night. Everybody. <laughs> Don't heckle me when I'm trying to do this. Hang on a minute. Hang on. So it's, it'll be good. It'll be good. It's all okay. right. Just, I'm just trying. To, oh gosh, you can't. You, I wish you'd got here five minutes later. I'm not ready. <laughs> All right, we'll get on with it. You? I'll get my... Right, all right. <laughs> Hello, sir. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's a nice name. Are you, you in any way Irish? No, sorry, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Patrick. Uh, do you, I got some information that you'd like to do something on the show tonight. Is that right? That's correct. Right, what do you want to do then? Well, uh, before, is there anyone else you'd like to invite up? Yes, I'd like to invite my girlfriend, Jody, up. Come on, Jody. Come on over. Come on, Jody. Hey! Hi, Jody. Hi, nice to meet you. I have you. Uh, oh, hang on. Sorry, I know you probably thought I had a huge penis, but it's just a microphone <laughs> in my pocket. Uh, hold on to that. Speak into that, would you? Hello. Um, and here, this is to put on it in case. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, okay, uh, get on with it then. All right, Jody. Yes. Would you marry me? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go, all right, let's go. Have you got the thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. Give her a kiss, man. Give her a kiss. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. There you go, kids. Wait there. <laughs> so, let that be a lesson to you, people who say this is a completely scripted show. <laughs> I wish you kids all the best. Man, I never saw Andy shake that much, ever. <laughs> and, and, and I've been in rehab. <laughs> I, I wish you all the best. I hope you'll be very happy. I, I really do. Thank you. <laughs> I do. I, I think it's lovely, and I think it's lovely that you chose a nice, quiet place for it. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back with less romantic crap. I know what you're thinking. Craig, why are you using uh, uh, non-advertising cleaning fluid on your hands? Because I'm meeting a lot of people tonight. Look, there's a lot of people from the audience come out. There's uh, Patrick, and I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Jody. Jody, Patrick and Jody, who are getting married. A dude who's wearing a suit and sneakers. <laughs> uh, and uh, two kids at the end. Uh, hey, kids at the end. Uh, you didn't, can you hand that to them? Right, don't say anything. I just wanted it to be over there. <laughs> Now, what I want you to realize, everybody at home, that these good Americans here... You, are you all Americans? Yes. yes. <laughs> Anybody here going to be watching the World Cup? No. Yes. You are? Yeah, apparently I will be too. Oh! 
Uh oh, trouble in paradise. <laughs> where are you going to? I'll get to you guys. Probably not. But when? Um, what, where? Where are you going to live? We're going to live in Palmdale, <laughs> California. Yeah, I know where it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just over the back there. Yep. Yeah. You're going to live in Palmdale, and uh, what are you going to do there? You're going to have babies. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> Too, so. All right, so you'll have more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be, yeah, yeah that, that's well, you can't do it on his own, girl. <laughs> that's why you know, things are going to change. You know? <laughs> anyway, look, I just want to announce that we are all moving into a house together, uh, and it's going to be a sitcom on CBS called um, The Hendersons. Uh, <laughs> I play dad. Oh, you kids. And who you played? Wacky neighbor? Wacky neighbor. Wacky neighbor. What's your name, sir? Spaz. What's your name at the end, kids? Use the microphone. Uh, my name's Frank. I'm Jennifer. You guys a couple? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to ask her anything? <laughs> Jen? <laughs> yes. Uh... Will, will you marry me uh, later, a uh, couple years from now, when we're not on national television? Dude, don't qualify it. Either ask her or don't ask her. All right, well, we'll figure it out. Good night, everybody. Say, say good night. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Bieber. Wait a minute, you're not Justin Bieber. I'm better. What's your name, kid? Taylor. All right, where are you from? Valley Center, Kansas. Oh. <laughs> Do people say to you, you look a bit like Justin Bieber? No, they don't. <laughs> You probably don't really look like Justin Bieber, do you? I don't you? look like him at all. <laughs> but your hair's combed a little bit like Justin Bieber. No, a mine's bit. a lot better. <laughs> Dude, why are, you, why are you harshing on Justin Bieber? He sucks. No! Yeah! No! Yeah! No! Yeah! What's wrong with you? Are you an Al-Qaeda or something? <laughs> no. Well, what, what, what kind of music do you like? Uh, rock. Rock? Yeah. What kind of rock? Good rock. Like rock and roll or just rock? Rock and roll. Oh, well, yeah? <laughs> Do you enjoy the Nirvanas? Yeah, they're all right. Yeah, I thought you might like them. <laughs> <laughs> Nirvanas? Yeah. What's your favorite band, then? Uh, probably Led Zeppelin. Way to be current anyway, young fella. Yeah. <laughs> they're a good band, though. Good band. Yeah, yeah, yeah good band. <laughs> Why are you in L.A.? Uh, just bored. Kansas, Kansas sucks. See? No, Kansas doesn't suck. You just think, you just think everything sucks because you're young. What age are you, 18? 18. See, yeah. I could tell by your hair. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, man. It, Kansas doesn't suck. Kansas is awesome. L.A. sucks. Yeah, L.A. sucks too. San Diego. San Diego doesn't, is the only place that doesn't suck. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Take that 60 minutes. <laughs> So why are you in L.A. then? Just to see this show? Yeah, because you're that awesome. <laughs> no, 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 that's the sign, kid. You see, what's happened? What's happened here? Thanks, Taylor. What's happened here is that since I started wearing sneakers, young people all over America have decided I am their prophet. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think you look like Justin Bieber. Everyone's like, wow, Taylor looks like Justin Bieber. I'm like, he doesn't. <laughs> all right, I was the only one that thought he looked like Justin Bieber. <laughs> but if it was true, if Justin Bieber was really here, this is what you'd see. So, oh, you do? You have a picture of Justin Bieber? Oh, I, 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 both of them? Put them together and let's compare. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, Ted. See, I think.
think I think all of you like Tootsie Fruitsie. My God. <laughs> That's a Scottish word. That is not a cuss word. <laughs> so anyway, what happened is Justin Bieber turned up at my house for a World Cup watching barbecue food snack time. And is it good? That's very good. Yeah, see? There you go. Uh, Justin Bieber likes it. And now what would you have to uh, wash it down with? You have to give them something to drink. A watermelon is smoothie. That's why the watermelon a smoothie is here. The red color of Spain. The red color of Spain. Then we are going to win the World Cup. The or the United States. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're not going to win. Why not? Because you have to play better than the other teams to win. That's you the rules. Bet? You want to bet? I can't bet on TV. Ah, it's against okay. the law. All right. <laughs> Well, we wait till the commercial break. I'll have us out. Yeah. Half a smoothie. Ha half a smoothie. Half a smoothie. Justin, half a smoothie. I know Taylor. Sorry. All yeah. ah, right. Already, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Landon Donovan. Landon Donovan. Good night. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Jeff, what time is it? Mr. Ferguson, tweets and emails. Tweets and emails, play the jingle. Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, tweeting, tweeting, Google web, face code, quiz zone, ask mode, checks the tweets, 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 and also emails. Uh, a couple of weeks back on the show, a uh, young gentleman by the name of Kelly Moore was here. He uh, helped me read the tweets and the emails, and he's back again tonight. Please welcome Kelly Moore. Right <laughs> Kelly Moore, Kelly doesn't uh, like me or the show, and uh, <laughs> but he uh, he's young, and CBS think that he might attract a younger demographic. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I don't know. Young people might like you, but you, you get your Justin Bieber hair there. You're looking good. I actually figured out who Justin Bieber was. You didn't know? No, you asked me. Oh, oh, last get time. you, Grandpa. <laughs> Do you listen to it? Do you like it? No, you need to find new bands. I, I haven't a Justin Bieber here. You, you get? I'm not. This isn't the show. Isn't big enough for Bieber. <laughs> What do you listen to then up there in Oregon or well, wherever it can't it's... be good, big enough for Bieber. You've got me here. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Well, you appeal to the young demographic, apparently. All right, you want to help me with the emails? Sure. Junior. <laughs> he doesn't, he really doesn't like the show. You don't like the show, do no, you? No, I think you're just cranky about these sharks, man. No, I'm, I'm frightened about the sharks. Taking it out on me. No, I'm not taking it out on you. I'm just saying, you know, sharks are frightening. <laughs> All right, this is from Neil and Dudley in uh, Georgia. You ever been to Georgia? Never. You should go down there one day with a fiddle. <laughs> Why? You never heard the devil go down to Georgia? Oh, yeah, great joke. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, all right, it says, Dear Craig and Kelly. They probably would have put Kelly if they knew they were here. Yeah, they All right. Uh, Dear Craig and Kelly, what is this? What is with the smell at that doctor in the dentist office? What's that about? The, yeah. Uh, what is that smell then? Who's fielding these emails? Is no one fielding them? This is the exact amount we get in. We get upwards of eight a day. Oh wow, this is a good one. This is from Annie in Ulm, Germany. You ever been to Germany? No. Do you like Germans? Uh, sure, they're great. <laughs> you, you don't like Germans, do you? I mean, I might not like World War II era Germans, but... Well, no, no one likes them. Even, even modern Germans are like, oh, that wasn't us, that was other Germans. Yeah. <laughs> they, that was other Germans, they've gone, no. Anyway, this is from Annie in Ulm, Germany. She says, I need a good last line for my paper on the history of death. Any ideas? What's the question? I need a good last line. Craig, Craig. What? 
I'm, just, just I'm, I'm, I'm in a wheelchair. I'm not. I'm not stupid. I'm well, just, no, but <laughs> you asked me to repeat it. I mean, come on. Anyway, just because you're in a wheelchair doesn't make you smart. <laughs> Stephen Hawking's yeah, got that right. one. That's right, Stephen, Stephen Hawking is smart because he's smart, not because he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> I need a good last line for my paper on the history of death. Any ideas? N not one. Oh, all. come on, what about the I, end? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, oh, here's a, do you have any animals? Do you keep any animals? No. Do you like animals? Sure. Yeah, all right, good. <laughs> Well, here, here's a woman that needs uh, uh, some advice about her animals. Do you, do, you, uh, do you know anything about dogs and cats? No. Okay. <laughs> well, what? well, you, you want to you hear it? You know. Oh, yeah, I, I just don't know anything, but it's... Oh, you just, you're just interested. You're, ah, you find yourself entertained. I'm... Ah, you're being entertained on a show that you don't like. <laughs> Pretty sad when you've got to trick people into it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, Jessica in Bellevue in Nebraska says, uh, uh, she, she had a one in before, didn't she? No? Okay. Uh, <laughs> said, Dear Craig, my dog seems to be afraid of cats. Should I be concerned? What do you think? Hey, he's a big la la. Are you serious? Uh. <laughs> What's a dog afraid of cats for? That's not how it works. What, well, number one, you can't say, What's that coming to go? <laughs> but I just did, and then you did. I'll, I'll be bleeped out using the machine. They can't bleep you out because that's oppressing the young people. <laughs> oh no, they, they don't mind oppressing the young people, apparently. Uh, well, and, and two, you know, what if it's a small dog and a big cat? What if it's like a lion versus a Pekingese? You're still in dog cat territory there. You're really stretching this. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, oh, here's one. This is from Carrie in Littleton in Colorado. You ever been to Colorado? No. Did you see that movie, Carrie? The one about the girl that goes crazy at prom or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah. that? Yeah. Do you like it? Nah. How do you watch the movies now, the kids watch the movies? Do they watch them on the DVDs? DVDs? Or the VHS? Do you watch it on your it's phone? It's Blu-ray now. Blu-ray. 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 I used to dance under that name. Gentlemen, please welcome Blue Ray. And I'd, uh, what, I was, was your, what was your song? Black Velvet. <laughs> Do you know that song? That's a great, that's a great, that's a great stripper song right there. Black Velvet. Black Velvet do 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 do. You don't know that song? That sounds like your Nirvana impression. Well, it, all my impressions kind of come to the same place. Where? Just yelling and panic. And then. Do, do, do. Yeah, yeah, do, 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 yeah, that's, that's kind of my thing. And you get paid for this? Very little. <laughs> what impressions do you do then? Was that? What impress? <laughs> what impressions do you do? I don't think they understood you either. I, I, they don't understand me, but they're frightened of the warm-up guy. You don't do any impressions? I might have a Craig Ferguson impression. Oh, no. Well, I think I'd pay to see that. Not much, but I would. All right, let's hear it. How much would you pay? Uh, 20 bucks. Let's hear it. Let me see the money. <laughs> I don't have any money right now. I'll trade you a, a picture of Eddie Izzard. Doesn't have any money right now. No, well, I got a... Okay, look, I got a picture of Eddie Izzard. Look, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Twenty bucks, yeah. It's right. Eddie Izzard. He's one of the greatest comedians alive. But not worth twenty dollars. It's got gaff tape all over oh. it. Look at this. <laughs> all right, I'll owe you the twenty bucks. Uh, you, like, give me the twenty bucks. All right, give me. Jeez, I tell you, this is what's wrong with your generation, punk. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. we'll keep it there. All right, we'll keep it there. You keep it right there. I'm Craig Ferguson. <laughs> Well,
a surprise bumping into you, lovely ladies here. I was just about to start talking to my friends at home who can't sleep or can't afford cable. What is your name, young lady? Tatiana. Tatiana. Why, that's a charming name. Is that an American name? No. Where are you from? I'm from France. And who would you be, young lady? Valentina. Valentina. That's a lovely name. Are you from anywhere in America? No. Where are you from? France. <laughs> what a coincidence! Tatiana is also from France! Have you met? She's my mom. Mom? Daughter? <laughs> I wrote a letter to Penthouse about this once. Now, ladies, I, 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 I just meant to ask you, how do you know the show? Do, do, are we illegally being broadcast in France? No, we live in Seattle right now, but we come back in force to France. Oh, right. <laughs> so... So here's what I'm... Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much for being on. The, you'll receive your $40 for being on the show. Which is not much, but it's all I get. And here's the thing, though. I wanted to say this to you, and I, but I'll wait until you got to your seats in case I annoyed you, is that I wanted to say, wow, could you believe that Tatiana is Valentina's mother? And then I thought, well, I bet not I'll say that, because then Valentina might go, what is that meant to mean? But you look very, uh, somebody's moisturizing, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Everybody, you're very beautiful, both of you, and you, uh, it's just, it's amazing to me, kids today, don't you think? <laughs> Some talking back there, I'm in a bit of a bad mood tonight. Well, not bad mood, I'm feeling kind of ill at ease. One of our, uh, one of our beloved staff menders, uh, menders? Yeah, staff menders. <laughs> Whenever we get a broken staff, the staff mender comes in and... One of our beloved staff members, Cole, is, is leaving, uh, leaving the show and she's going to... She used to book all the music acts and comedians and stuff. She's leaving and she's going to uh, live in New York. And last night, there was a big party for Cole. You know, uh, you know, everybody got together and, you know, said bye-bye to Cole and wished her luck and everything. And they all had a great time, apparently, and I wasn't invited. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. And I'm like, what? Why wasn't... And everybody's like, well, we didn't think you'd come. And I said, well, no, you, you knew I wouldn't come if you didn't invite me. <laughs> That's a surefire way. This is like self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh, he'll never come. How do you know? Because he doesn't... I can have a... No, we're having a party. <laughs> what a lovely cat that is, Cole. Is that the cat that was DJing at your party last night? Or are you going away? Yes, he was. <laughs> this is Cole, everybody, who's worked here for... How long you worked here? Uh, almost four years. Four years. Now Cole's going back to New York City to pursue her dream of being an erotic dancer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we just wanted to say goodbye. I would have done this last night at the party, but I wasn't invited. So... You I, were invited. I know I was. Oh, I was okay. just doing all that. Ooh la la! The okay, show. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't there, but I had that thing. I know. It was a very important thing. Project Runway night last I night. Know. Yeah. It's true. All right. How did you TV it? Project could Runway? You, yeah, could you believe it's an hour and a half this year? I'm loving like, it. it. I don't know, actually. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you see Cole in New York, everybody, go over to her, be nice to her, put a dollar in a thong, and... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just a dollar? Uh, five bucks in her thumb. <laughs> She's been spoiled. Uh, we'll miss you very much. Thanks Thank for working so here. Cole Wilson, everybody. Here we go. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Don't do a peace sign into the camera. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the Jumbotron. <laughs> walking down the street and I'm going to ask these people a question, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question and make you look stupid. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? My name is Toby. <laughs>
Hi, what's your name? Natalie. Ah, that's lovely. <laughs> Toby and Natalie, that's, do you know that sometimes there's boys called Toby, did you know that? Yes, I do know that, but I'm an IE baby, IE. If you're a guy, you spell it with a Y, but I'm an IE. Oh, you're an IE. Just saying. All right. <laughs> that's nice. I love your glasses. Thank you, darling. I'm and I love your glasses too, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Do, do you work in, a, in an eye doctor's? <laughs> do you, do, do you, you, clearly you know an eye doctor. You know what? They're actually, I don't need them to read. They're not prescription. They're, Are they? For style and character. May I try them on? Absolutely. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, wow. Are you ready? Oh, do that again. Do that again. <laughs> this is awesome because these glasses in no way make me look stupid. <laughs> now, you came in all the way from Kentucky, I believe. Kentucky. Yeah, yes. w why? <laughs> We've been best friends since we were eight years old. Oh. Elementary yes, school. Elementary oh. School. I said the one thing I had to do was see Craigsy. Oh, that's lovely. And when you guys are here, do you plan any pillow fights in your hotel or anything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, not that. No, not that. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Jay does this. It's kind of awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yes, doing right. I'll try right. a little yes, more yes, then. Yes, All right yes, then. Yes. All right. Who's the uh, Who's the president? <laughs> oh, hold who on. Is, don't who you is, know this? Yeah, I think hold you on. Know this. I'm black. I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's cold, Toby. <laughs> You've won a prize. <laughs> Call me nicely, everybody. We'll be right back. I'll be back in uh, eight months. <laughs> 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 can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>